breathe in CO2 and they use that carbon to make their bodies and it gets deposited in the soil and then the oxygen is released. And we do the opposite, animals do the opposite. And when we are burning fossil fuels, we're releasing that carbon that's been underground into the atmosphere. But plants can actually pull it back down. And in the long term, that's the carbon cycle. My name is Karen Leibowitz, and I'm the executive director of Zero Foodprint. We're a nonprofit that mobilizes the food world around agricultural climate solutions. So Zero Foodprint works with farmers to implement practices that build soil life. So bring down carbon, which you know all of our organisms are made of, um, into the soil. So that's good for the environment because it reduces carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas, but it's also really good for the plants that are grown in this soil because healthy soil makes healthy, delicious ingredients. So we created the Heirloom Series to kind of bring to the forefront everything that we really love here at Bootchcraft, working directly with heirloom farms and buying produce, working with nonprofits through 1% for the Planet, and then making the best tasting kombucha and bringing that all together into a bottle. We worked with Palo Canna Farm for our heirloom sangria and I have a special place in my heart for Zubeda and her family. It's truly a family operation. Her son, who's 14 years old, is helping to manage the farm and manage the animals on the property. Her husband is an incredible winemaker and just a wealth of knowledge. And they literally transitioned a conventional grape farm in three years to dry farming. So really at the pinnacle of regenerative agriculture as a winery and a grape farm. And they're just growing the most delicious Petit Syrah grapes. We got to go up there and spend a couple days on the farm, being there at 6 a.m. with headlamps with our whole team and uh, just being in it with them. You know, we harvested four tons of grapes with our team on the farm and then we got to see those grapes go from the farm to being juiced, ultimately coming down here to the brewery to make uh, one of the tastiest releases I think we've made to date and it's really a special release for us. I got to meet uh, Adam at the Eco Farm and um, I was pouring my wine and we had this discussion about bootcraft, my wine, um, the whole movement behind how to manage a vineyard. I am organic, biodynamic, I dry farm, I don't till, everything is by hand. I use native yeast. So it's a lot of things that really is close to what Adam was trying to do. He loved the wines, and I love bootcraft. <laughs> and, um, and that's it. We just uh, shaked hands and we said, we'll see each other for harvest. What does it mean to you to have Elias working with you here on the farm? It's pretty incredible. <laughs> Elias is my, um, is my right hand and my left hand. He's uh, uh, the mechanic, so if I have any kind of problem, so he can repair all the equipment here. And you see that's only me and now him. So, and then he's really good at uh, driving, so he drives everything. He's an amazing kid. He's, he's made for here, and here is made for him. And that's beautiful. What does it mean to you to work with your mother and your father out here? Well, it's just basically my life, you know, that's, that's really all I know, the vineyard. Basically, when I'm not driving, what I usually do is I, uh, I take the buckets from the pickers and I dump them in and take the leaves out. And you like working here? I love working here, yeah, I want to do it for as soon as I graduate high school, I want to work here for as long as I can. So over the past 50 years, agriculture has become mechanized. Uh, we've had the advent of factory farming in the 1970s, chemical sprays, and what's happened is desertification of our soil. 
So what desertification is, is our soil turning into dust. It's literally all the carbon and the moisture from the soil being released and then all the microbes and living life down the soil dying. And that's, you know, obviously a serious problem, but it's not all doom and gloom. Uh, regenerative agriculture, which is a system of farming that's been around for many years, is a system where we actually are growing food for the benefit of the soil. It's really important to us to work directly with our farmers to get to meet Zubeda and the farmers directly and really get the essence of what they're doing on the farm. And then we can also have a conversation with farmers about how can we support them to potentially transition to more regenerative practices. What are they already doing? Many of our farmers already are employing many regenerative practices. And it's something that I'd say is one of the, the number one things that we do here at Bridgecraft. Zero Food Print is working toward a renewable food system that restores our climate. So we want to create a food system that is not headed toward disaster, is not you know extracting infinitely, but actually reinvesting in the longevity of our agriculture, of our people, of our land. Um, and it can actually do more than that, it can actually draw down carbon dioxide and be part of a climate solution. So I would say our super pie in the sky goal is to say, you know, in 50 years that the food world saved the world. Thank you.